is angled for a reason because I'm out of breath that's the flipping hell <laughs> Well, I think I've run into a tiny little snag. Those are mountains. Did I look at the topography? No. Am I gonna make it through those? We'll see. Okay, so there goes the train. <laughs> that was a little bit of an adrenaline rush moment. Um, I got into this town. I don't even ask the name, it begins with a V. And uh, I remember that I have to get over this mountain area. So I quickly ran to the train station and caught this train to go a couple stops. And I'm in this place, whatever. I have no idea where I'm at, literally don't. But I know that it's more downhill from this point <laughs> and I just wanted to get on the train and get up and over. I literally got the station had less than like one minute to hop on the train, but then my app didn't work. I didn't have local cronies or whatever. I'm in Czechoslovakia now. He didn't take euros and he got pissed off at me. <laughs>
So I spent the past six days cycling across the Czech Republic. It's a little chilly today and it's been raining on and off. Hopefully the rain will break. I'm gonna do 70 kilometers today and I'm gonna be going into Slovakia and then back out of Slovakia, back into Austria. That is Slovakia, and that is Austria. And uh, I would say there was no fanfare crossing into Slovakia, except that there was a couple police officers at the border, and I had happened to take my phone and take a picture of a sign, and she stopped me and says, you know, you're not allowed to use your mobile while on a bicycle. You must stop and take the picture. So I said, okay. So I got about a minute to do this video. There's my bike. Behind me is Slovakia. And I'm taking this little ferry across back to Austria. Cost me a euro. I got to use this little outboard motor. <laughs> so we don't see it. Crossing this bridge for the third time. It's always my entrance into the city. There's all your cruise ships. It is pouring rain for the most part. It's not too cold. I'm just. Now continue straight and follow bike trail Euro Velo 9 Baltic Adriatic for Dermanrad Weg and bike trail Dermanrad Weg, then turn left. You heard her. <laughs> I 
I always find it interesting when you approach a highway, and this is a major highway, how they always manage to get bicycles through. Oh, look at this. A pathway. That was close. Last couple miles, as you can see, I'm in some cornfields, right along a uh, little train track here. That's a little local regional. <laughs> I see mountains all around. What an awesome day of riding. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, fabulous day. Coming up on some hills. the first train I was supposed to take. There goes the train I finally caught. I got on the wrong train and then ended up, um, the train stopped and I thought, oh, okay, I'm just waiting. Another train pulled at the same station, kept going. I had to come back two hours later. I have about three hours to ride and I have about two hours of sunlight, maybe two and a half. So I'm gonna boogie down the hills fast. <laughs> Be in the moment. A beautiful day, 70s, sunny, blue skies. Austria heading south towards Sweden. I mean, I got little mountains. That I have to conquer, but that's the danger. I call them the hills, I call them mountains, whatever you want to call them. Man, this is freaking gorgeous. You always hear that sound coming. Yeah, first peak of the day. Yep, that. <sighs> I'm out of breath. And over here, happiness, downhill.
That's all I got. Got nothing left. shit today. I got my ass handed to me. Seriously. Oh my god. This is like, this beats the other hill. I'm not kidding you. I had to walk the bike the last half a mile because of this. It's beautiful. I don't drink wine. You can have it. Remember these rides when we were a kid? They're a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, now I know why they outlawed them. Man, they make you dizzier now. It's been one awesome day. Sure, I got my ass kicked on hills, but it's definitely uh, an e-ticket day with the beauty. What a day, I don't want it to end. All right, I'm leaving Austria, finally. Not in a good way, finally, just I'm ending my trip in Austria. And now I'm in Slovenia. That's it. <laughs> now I'm heading into Slovenia towards Ljubljana. All these names are hard to pronounce and figure out. All right, off I go. So I rolled into Slovenia and uh, I got yelled at by a cop because I was going, I guess, the wrong way coming into a checkpoint or some crap. Kind of cruised a little bit further away from that. And then I discovered this Mashburger truck, the stoner. So I'm definitely getting stoner and uh, I'm gonna reground myself and then head back on the trail. Gotta love it. <laughs> Please make it stop. What I'm hoping today is that this is the last major hill. This boy don't even want to do this hill. Man, I'm getting my ass kicked. No wonder why everybody has electric bikes around here. This shit ain't for me, this type of bike. Whew. I got an hour to some big town called Maribor, Mar Marlboro. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna find the person I'm gonna kick their ass. Congrats, you climbed a hill. <laughs> no matter which way, you came from that way, you climbed a hill. You went from that way, you climbed a hill. So some smart ass said, congrats, you climbed a hill. This is how I have to get ready to get off the train. I have my bags ready to jump and my bike ready to hand down. Okay. 
because this is an old box car style storage. You can see this guy's bike too. And I'm either gonna go out of that door, or go out that door, but there are no steps. I'm at the Ljubljana Castle in Slovenia, and this marks the end of my trip. It also marks the point in which I now begin my return. So I'm at the furthest point of my travels after 600 miles of cycling and various trains. Now I've got the challenge of getting back to Dusseldorf. I had to squeeze in one last adventure before I go. It's a miracle because I cycled from the train station and I made it all the way to Lake Blood. It's definitely a miracle. All right, Joseph Etik, or however you say your last name, we haven't figured that out yet. This better be the best piece of cake I ever had. I might have to have two. Oh my God, I cycled up and down hills just to get this piece of cake on my leg. It was worth it. There the door closes. There's my gear and my bike. It's like, I feel like I have a connection with this train after being on it for so long. Au revoir, EC 114. Bye-bye. <laughs> Walking through the Dusseldorf, Hof Bon Hof, pushing my bike. I have probably literally pushed this bike with this gear through this train station, I don't know, probably almost 20 times. And I'm going to now break everything down tonight and tomorrow, put the bike away and head to Amsterdam. Stay at home. It's been a great trip. Wow. <laughs> What a day, I don't want it to end.